I'm giving away 10 grand for someone to go and pursue their dream. Yes. Right, so I can't go back to my 24 year old self and push me to do my dreams. So I figured, let's try and push someone else into doing their dreams. Side story, I'm in Halifax today, getting my MOT. So for those in America, we have to take our cars in the garage and get them tested and ticked off to make sure they're roadworthy. There you go. Right, let's back up. So I have this lovely YouTube channel with 665 amazing subscribers. However, let's be honest, I don't have a plan. It's vaguely about photography, but I float in and out and that's really it. First of all, let's address this elephant in the room, shall we? Like, honestly, why? Why am I doing 1 to 100k subs? Like, what is it? Like, I feel like I owe you an explanation, like, what are my ethics? Like, is it just because I want fame, or self-fame, or gratification from strangers over the internet, or money? Like, what is it? What, what's this about? It made you feel really good, right? Yeah, so? Well, it made you feel good, so that makes it selfish. There's no unselfish good deeds, sorry. Like two reasons really. The first one is a major one really, which is from like from from the moment I can remember, from stepping into working full time at 16, I've had this like need to like this people pleaser sort of personality. But more than that, what I found is really interesting is that I just really get a lot back from when I help people. And when I say this, by the way, I don't mean like I volunteer every weekend and feed the hungry and all that stuff. I'm not a saint. What I mean is like little things. So like in my workplace, it's always been the guy you can go to to help others or maybe just the person that grab a coffee with and listen to someone and make their day a bit better. And, like, and, I, and I love how that makes me feel. I really love when I think back I might have impacted someone's day and made it a little bit better. And that honestly is just how I am so that's that's the first reason I want to somehow embed that into this grand idea that I'm delaying telling you what it is and two photography so for me growing up as a dyslexic kid really struggling in school leaving at 16 to get a full-time job I would have killed to have photography as part of my world back then, but it just wasn't. I wasn't mature enough and I struggled and blah, blah, blah. And it wasn't until my 20s that I found a love for education. And for me, it was through this artistic medium that is photography. This artistic medium that is photography. And now I love filmmaking, anything to do with that umbrella of photography. And I guess the reason it's so important to me is, it's just, it is deep but bear with me and that's the type of thing I want to help people of all ages that maybe just want a time where they want to chase the dream. I have a dream. Right what does all this mean and I'm pretty sure right at the beginning of the episode I mentioned something about 10k yeah right let me explain. Okay so I have this dream. <laughs> I have a dream. Sounds more serious than it is, doesn't it? But anyway, not this type of nightmare here. My life fucking sucks. I'm an artist from the middle of nowhere and my videos are gonna win a Grammy. Oh God, this makes me cringe. No, no. I have this sort of vision, if you like, and I really believe that like, beyond our community, these types of videos and series would really, really take off. Ultimately, it is authentic. I just want to be able to see someone's face that have been maybe thinking, oh, I can never follow this dream. I need to go get a regular nine to five job and me be like, Here's Give 10 grand. 10 grand for someone to go and pursue their dream. Yes. Oh, how amazing is that? And surely that would make good TV. And that's that's the, the crux of it. But I have to get sensible, so let's break it down, shall we? I want to build this community where I can make these films, build a bit of a following on YouTube, and then once a month, once every two weeks, depending on how much money we have, I go out and film these episodes of f everything from a stupid game to where we can w someone can win some money through to a competition about a photographer or an artist or an actor or whatever so that we can fund back to this underground art world and I don't mean the snooty mooty snooty mooty mooty ones I mean the people that have put off like really wanting to be a photographer be an actor be a singer be a blah blah because they've got to go to the day job and they've got to do this and got to do that and the daily grind just, just grinds them down 
I really want to do that, but I feel like there's like episode, there's like a production in that that could really kick off. So, no one's going to give us 10 grand to sponsor a video when I've got 665 subs and average about 60 views per video. <laughs> That's just not going to happen. So what I figured was, I'm going to set myself a challenge and I'm going to go all in with this. I've got 100 days or 100 episodes, I'm going to vlog it of me building this up of I'm just going to document it I'm going to document this first episode I'm going to document the second one where I start to look at who we want to target as an audience and I want to build this this core community of people that are in the artistic world maybe part-time all that stuff where we can then start giving back to you imagine building this sort of community up where we're doing daily vlogs and silly videos videos maybe we can help people introduce other people all that type of stuff and then once a month or once every two weeks depending on how many followers we get and how much money we get to sponsor I go out and film a series of stupid games or maybe serious ones where people enter competitions and do stuff and then we physically just give them the money back from the sponsors so that is the plan create these series once a month you're going out and I'll be really transparent so you get 10 grand to sponsor some so many videos well I go out and make my normal daily vlogs as I do but for those big production videos where we start to create games well 20% of what we get that goes to the production 40% goes directly to whoever wins it and then the 40% goes into my business and then we all win that is my plan I want to build like a proper community in the long long run though if I can create stuff and enjoy and collaborate with all of you give back to you help people got progress in the career or even just kick it off or even just find a spark a, a way out of the maybe a mundane life then this could be really really successful so hopefully you've heard enough and you'll join us for the next 100 days to see whether we can make this a go but I'll tell you what those episodes of going out to say a college getting them all to like create a photograph and then picking a winner and giving them 10 grand or five grand to go off and do what they love will be oh can you imagine how amazing that we in them videos them videos will go viral but then we'll have his own little community to just have a laugh and do things in the middle bit but then create these sort of production that we'll all be a part of so let's see how we get on here